Taylor from the Corps of Engineers, J. Charles Thurman Project on phase power generation will begin at 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. Please remember, this schedule is subject to change without notice. And thank you for calling the Thurman Power Plan. I feel like I start out every video saying this is the second time we filmed this intro. Yeah. It happens pretty often, but this is the second time we filmed this intro. Actually, third. Actually, yeah, third. Because we did one at the last spot. We were going to go ahead and tell you that we've actually been to another spot today, and it didn't work out. It was yeah, horrible. Yeah, it was so yeah. bad. Tried we went, to strike this creek. Uh, yeah. You were going to say it. No, nah, go ahead, bro. Go we ahead. We tried to strike this creek. Both of us caught fish. You can show that. But then we're going to get in here. They're letting water out right now pretty good and try to give it a dangle while we still have that up there. You've seen us here before, man, in the last couple of videos, but you know, good fish come out of out it. Good, I'm gonna quit. Uh -huh. Good fish come up out of here. A lot right. of numbers. We're gonna get in here while we still got light and try yeah, to Yeah, we got, catch like how long till it gets dark? Two hours. Two whole hours to make something happen. <laughs> All right, let's do it, dude. All right, let's go. All right, y'all, second dangle of the day. Second, well, second place for the dangle of the day. Walker's still kind of getting his stuff in. I'm gonna get back here in the cut. Let's see what they're doing. I changed over to a weightless Cinco because in here it's a lot of grass. I know if y'all watched the Savannah Rapids video, we were fishing shaky heads and stuff. If you ever fish River Island, Cinco is the ticket just because of how weedless it is. Anything very weedless is good. But uh, one bass west, if you're watching this, feel terrible. You tried to hit us up when we were in the woods a couple times earlier. We just both didn't have good service. Let's see if we can get on some fish. Man, that creek was awful tell you guys one thing man got a new paddle the other day and it comes with these little grips on it right here i'm not too big of a fan of these grips man i don't like how they feel on my hand it feels weird they're definitely coming off i'm gonna cut them right up there right i'm gonna slit it and i'm gonna pull them off because they ain't staying on here only reason i got this paddle man is because i lost my other one and i ain't about to go drop a 200 hundred dollar bill even though there's like no such thing but you get what i'm saying i'm about to go drop 200 bucks on a paddle that's just crazy Y'all can go spend that much money on a paddle if you want, but my butt is cool with this one. Y'all are wild going out there spending $200 on a paddle. Boy, I ain't doing it. Chase feel the same way. Tell you one other thing about life that I'm blessed to have in life. That's Ball Hall Blast. These are so good. I think your boy might got it bad. Got him. I'm right, pulling straight up out of that water, boy. Cause your boy roll that way. Little peck ahead. You bit off more than you could chew, didn't you? Hey, first fish of the day for here. This ain't even legal limit, so. Or legal size. Little peck ahead, but you know what, dog? That's one more fish for the day, and I'm cool with that, so. Peace out. We were out in the heat, trekking around in this creek, and it was hot, and then you get in the truck and ride for almost an hour to get out of the middle of the woods where we were. Then you get back in the sun and you're like, dang, I remember how hot it is now. It's funny, me and Walker are both making the same trek to the same spot right now because we know where the fish hang out in here. You can tell they're letting water out, but it's still not back to normal. Like I can see the ground right now where I'm paddling. so hard okay that's why it's like a two pounder all right so first one of the day out of the river dude no way dude are you kidding me man all right y'all i got my hook out of this fish okay you see that right walker look at this dude you're not gonna believe this What's that right there, dog? Where? I didn't know. I always wonder what happened if people cut hooks off in fish. This was hanging out of this fish's butt. I just pulled it out of the fish, dude. I just seen, I was pulling the fish up to talk about it, man. I just seen it. That's crazy. <laughs> it's like really crazy, right? Yeah. I always wonder where hooks went if people cut them out. Well, I guess they live. This guy's fine. I mean, he's got a big sore from it. I'm not gonna stress this fish out anymore, man. I go it hooked him. I got my hook out. But then I just pulled this out of that fish's butt. That's insane, dude. I'll see you later, buddy. I'm sorry you pooped out a hook. 
Dude, I just pulled a hook out of a fish's butt. It wasn't my hook. I, I'm like, I'm like lost in words right now about somebody this. Somebody has caught that fish before. Somebody hung that fish. It might have been us. No, somebody hung that fish, dog, broke off on him, and he digested the hook. I'm in disbelief still. I can't believe it. Dude, you can't tell me that you don't think that's insane. I just pulled a hook out of a fish's butthole, dude. That fish spread his butt cheeks like my concha, you know what I'm saying? My question is, is it shallow on there, over there in the shade? I say we go over there and try and fish it on, fish it down. I mean, what can it hurt? Throwing this creature bait. It's been a while since I've caught a fish on a creature bait. Yup, he's there. Boy, did you see that thing go fly? Hold up, I forgot to turn my hat backwards. Hey, this one's bigger than the last one you caught. Dude, that's kind of fat for a little peck of head. That will. Say goodbye. This is yours now. Uh-uh, I'm not taking that. There are two people in this life, those who fish and those who film, so hold on to that camera. I got my glasses on like crooked and such. Like, sometimes if you eat some saltines and you don't drink anything, it makes your lips feel like they're chapped even when they're not chapped. So how did you feel when that peck of head bit your worm? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, bro. Keep it in your mouth, bro. He's so small. <laughs> All right, y'all, well, you know, when I catch the small ones, I like to quick release them. I like to bounce them off my other GoPro. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it got it or not. That's pretty funny there. We'll count it, I lipped him. I just wasn't holding him very tight. And guess what? Daddy's got a fish. <laughs> D, don't ever do that again, hold on. Bam! I... Dang, second time today, bro. What's going on with you, bro? Oh, goodness. Hey, Daddy, back up. You're ruining the fishing. Let me tell you something, boy. I'll crack a cracker like a box of Cracker Jacks. Ah! I'm screaming in anger! Swing away, Merle! Swing away! One, two, three! That right that there, ladies jack. and gentlemen, is how you break off on a hook. A jack. First of all, dude, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't like the way you use the word ambiguous. And second of all, I've never heard you say that word before in my life. Seriously, though, imagine if you could be a 10 pounder for a whole day. I think I'd go on a mission, right? I'd group up with all the other 10 pounders and be like, look, dude, I got a safe spot y'all can chill in. No fishing. Yeah, dude, I'd be like that inside man. Dude, this one just came up and hit it on top of the water, bro. This literally, I was reeling in. Came up and hit it on top of the water. But dude, this is not what we're looking for at all. Like, dude, come on. Yo, compete with your league, bro. Get out of here. It was kind of cool, though. Like, I was swimming it in and he hit it on top. But that ain't what we asked. We want to know where Mondozilla is. Like the one that pooped the hook out. I'll take a couple more of those. I think I got one. Heck yeah, bro. Another fish for the ages. Freaking, you know, man. I specialize in tortilla fish. You know what I'm saying? You ready for it? Boom. Uh, son. We ain't got too much longer left in here. It's getting kind of scarce. The bite's getting kind of, well, actually, I don't know. The bite's kind of picked up a little bit, but we don't got a whole lot of time. We're gonna have to probably get out of here within the hour, but if we can manage to get just a few more fish in the boat, we might have a video for you guys today, but we don't know. Me and Chase have been fishing two completely different things. We've been fishing the Cinco. I've been throwing this little ridge tail right here and having pretty good luck with this. Broke off on it twice. I'm pretty sure there was something with teeth that bit it off. I don't know, man. I don't know, people. I've been giving it a Wayne Danger. Chase has been giving it a Wayne Danger. There's only so much else we can do. Hey, bro, got a bass. I swear to Jesus, if it breaks me off, I'm not gonna be happy about it. Oh my God, did you see that? That thing came flying out of the water. What the heck, dude? 
And that right there, my friends, is how it's done. There you go, people, another pecker head, another dollar. I don't know how many fish I've caught by this point, but they all been about this size. It's better than nothing, bro. Full Wayne Dangy, pineapple don't go on pizza. Growing this back in the water. Dang, that fish hit it on top water. That was awesome. Dude, it was a big jack. He spit it out. I don't know if you guys seen that. That was sick. That was insane, y'all. Seen the fish. I love it when a fish comes up and busts on a worm while you're reeling it in. It's the coolest thing. I know you missed it because you're facing that way. I just hooked into a really big jack and he jumped like really high out of the water. I don't know if the GoPro got it or not. I don't know if you wrap me around something or what. Don't feel like the fish is there anymore. All right, people, I just changed these batteries out because you know your boy got changed the batteries out. I don't know how long that smudge is that was on that camera lens, how long it's been there for. It's probably been there all day, so I apologize, but I'm so bad about, I used to be good about it, but now I'm just so bad at checking my lens and make sure there's no smudges all over that thing. I can't seem to remember to do that to save my life these days. Well, bro, we can either do one of two things, not make this video or just put it up and dub it one of our I hate to put up like a bad video when we've got two pretty good ones, you know what I mean? I do think that our viewers got to know, man, it can't be a banger every time. You know what I mean? So do you want to put this video up just for the sake of removing a hook from an anus? Got him. Feels like a good one. I can't tell. Uh, that's decent. Boy, you better get your little fruity tooty booty in here. There we go. That's my biggest bass of the day for sure. That's definitely... I don't know how many fish I've lost today, but I lost a lot. And I've caught like maybe four. Might be my fourth fish. I don't know. It's not bad though. Like I gotta say, I think any fish that's about this size is about pretty good for the river. You know what I mean? And it fought pretty hard, man. Got him right there on the roof of the mouth, if you can see that. I can't get a hook out, boy, because this fish is stubborn. Yeah, one of the bigger ones of the day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, dude, I know this isn't gonna be one of our best this videos. This isn't normal yak creep. It's not one of our best videos, but it'll do. I'll you know say I mean? that with a two hour limit, hour and a half limit to catch fish, I think we did okay. Yeah, it definitely could have been worse. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Could have been. Could've Way been, worse. But I'm glad it wasn't. We I had a, a good time out here, man. Lost a lot of fish. I got to see something today I've never seen before in my life. I always thought that if you break off on a fish, or if you some people cut a hook out of a fish, it would kill a fish. I helped the fish poop a hook out today. Showed no. I did, dude. <laughs> dude, it's actually... That was hella gross, dude. It's right here, dude. You still got it? I'm gonna keep the poop hook as a souvenir. But anyways, yeah. two hours to catch fish. We We're only out some. here two hours. Yeah. You know what I mean? Almost two hours. Almost. Dude. Not even that. It was fun, though, man. We had a good time. It was better than nothing. We caught, like... I don't know. I don't know. How many? You'll see. Lost but. a couple. I had a big jack jump all the way out of the water. I hope the GoPro has seen that. Broke off about 19 million times. But well, it's fun. It's, it's fun, always. man. That's why I, we do it. It's for fun. I can tell you this. A full Wayne Dango was given. Yeah, I don't know if it was quite received. Don't you guys ever forget that we appreciate everything you do as far as commenting and liking and sharing and all that stuff. So don't ever forget to hit that. Always wait what'd you say like share and comment i was trying to i'm but thinking you really about did. what i'm gonna say and then i got into a daze yeah, but anyways like share subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell for your boys and don't ever what's the word hesitate on commenting on our videos man i really appreciate it when you Even do that liking helps a lot as well See? i said it in the last video that's getting edited right now but the dude 
it commented to you about the Bartram bass. That was cool. I didn't know. You me, know what I mean? I didn't know about it neither. So. But it happened though. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's getting really, really dark and we still gotta drag these things out of here. So we'll catch you guys on the next one, boy.